Hey, what is going on guys? Ben here and today I am super excited to be checking out and taking a first look at the new Nova from Beagle Drones and tell you guys why I think this little guy by far is Beagle's best drone yet. <laughs> Now this isn't going to be a full review as this is still a pre-production unit and there's a few flaws and kinks with it, but Beagle actually just wrapped up their Kickstarter for this drone and they soared way past their $5,000 initial goal. And so I really wanted to take a look at this unit, tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, address some of the comments and concerns I've seen from previous videos, and ultimately tell you guys why I think this little guy is by far Beagle's best drone yet. Time to test the second Beagle drone. This is Beagle Nova. We're in the same spot as last time. I'm excited. All right, so my initial thoughts after flying this new Beagle Nova drone. It performs really well. I mean, this thing was flying really fast. I was whipping this thing around, or at least what I felt was whipping it around. Again, I'm still kind of new to this but it performs really well. It feels a lot more compacted than the old Beagle Drone Kit 2X. It feels a lot tighter of a kit. It's built much better. You've got prop guards now. It performed well, didn't crash it at all, and I liked how I was able to switch between different modes. It would self-stabilize, so that was also amazing. I wish the controller was a little bit smaller. Also, maybe if the controller was a little bit more optimized, as remembering what those switches do is a little hard, but I actually wrote out what each switch does at the top. But other than that, yeah, and I love how onboard camera, no more GoPro, that's kind of a, a big plus. Also, speaking of the camera, the video transmission signal that I was getting to my goggles was super stable. I actually didn't think that I was gonna like lose signal with the drone at any moment, even when I was flying all the way out to the football field. But overall, first flight went really smoothly. I wanna have more time to test this though and give you guys my full thoughts on it. So why don't we head back to when I had more time to play with this and I can give you my full impressions of this Beagle Nova. So let's first start off by taking a look at the hardware of this drone. This little guy is tiny. It measures in at just about seven inches square and is a lot smaller than the previous generation drone kit 2X. This makes it a lot easier to pack away into a bag and bring with you on a shoot. And it's also a lot lighter at only 248 grams, which means it falls under the FAA weight limit of 250 grams, which is required to register. That lightweight design also helps improve on battery life and performance of this drone. While I never got the advertised seven minute flight time, I could consistently get about five to six minutes in the air while really pushing the speed of this thing. However, as a content creator, the thing that excites me the most about this new drone is the heavily upgraded camera system. See, at the front of this drone is a little 160 degree FPV camera, which has an internal one over 2.7 inch Sony sensor. This camera not only streams a live feed of what your drone sees right to your goggles, but also simultaneously records a 4K60 stream right to the internal SD card on the drone itself. See, at first I was a little bit skeptical about how good the video from this little camera could be. See, I'm used to filming with FPV on GoPros, and so I thought there was no way this little camera could keep up with something like a $400 GoPro. However, after testing it out, I was thoroughly impressed. Colors look great straight out of camera, and the footage actually looked super crisp. Sometimes it was even a little bit too much so that the fine details could come across a bit harsh, but I'd rather that over something that's too soft. The wide field of view also helped the footage look fairly stable without any post-processing or digital stabilization added. And if you throw some warp stabilizer on top, the footage actually looks really smooth. Now, while the footage definitely doesn't match something like what you can get out of a GoPro Hero 8, I think this camera could rival or even beat something like a GoPro Session, and it's definitely an incredibly nice feature to have included with the drone itself. And if you'd like, there are some screw holes on the front of the drone in the top of the case, where Beagle Drones says they will make a GoPro accessory mount so that you can attach your own camera right to the top of the drone. And that brings me to my next point, which is having a built-in camera that can record such good video on this drone makes it an excellent entry for any content creator looking to get into FPV on a budget. See, no longer do you need a drone and an expensive GoPro with it, now you can just pick up this kit and capture really good looking FPV footage with everything that comes in the box. So for a content creator on a budget, this is really an incredible value. Now that's not to say this unit didn't have its quirks though. During my testing with this pre-production model, I noticed that one of the propellers would occasionally scrape the inside of the propeller guard, 
causing the drone to trim to the side when I didn't want it to. And also the SD card in the side of the drone was incredibly hard to access. I actually needed a knife and some tweezers just to kind of push it in and out and pull it from the case. I also wish the battery level indication on the goggles for when I'm actually flying this drone was a bit more clear as it would sometimes bounce around making it hard to tell how much battery I actually had left on this drone. However, I'm hoping all of these are just quirks with my pre-production unit and Beagle ensures me that they're working to fix a lot of these little things for the final release. So now we get to the big question. Is it worth it to pick one of these up? Nova is without a doubt a really compelling drone. In my testing, it performed pretty well and the footage that came out of this tiny little camera truly shocked me. However, with DJI's own luxury FPV drone looming on the horizon, Beagle has a lot to go up against. As it stands at its $500 price, this drone feels like a much better value for someone looking to just enter the FPV market, maybe for the first time, now, I do know that there's been a lot of concern in the past about Beagle's prices with people commenting on my videos saying that it was way overpriced for what you get. And trust me, I hear you and I get it. However, after really testing this product, I don't think that that's entirely true. See, what Beagle is offering here and with their other products is a solid pre-built drone that delivers a seamless experience to the user. I simply had to plug in the battery, boot up the remote and goggles, and then everything was just on and ready to go. Now they were not quite there with their first drone and they were quite a bit closer with their second, but I think this drone, Nova, is the closest they've come yet to that seamless experience. And I know that no matter what, their customer support will have my back if anything goes wrong along the way. I've seen how they interact with myself and other customers, and I know that especially with an FPV drone, which has a high tendency to crash, having a company that you can trust behind your drone is super important. So while you might not get the most spec for your dollar with a Beagle drone, if you're someone like me who just wants a seamless experience to get into the FPV videography market at a reasonable price, then I think this drone will perfectly fit those needs. And if Beagle can tune the software and solve some of the other hardware quirks with this drone, then I think this thing will make an excellent tool for FPV cinematography. Anyway, that's been my first look at Beagle Nova. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I tried to be as transparent as possible and address any of the questions and concerns that you guys may have had. If I missed anything or if you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I can try to answer it. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that like button and also make sure you subscribe to catch some of the new videos that will be coming out very, very shortly. Anyway, that's been it. Thanks, subscribe, and peace out. Catch you all in the next one.